Okay, tubes. I just took a center punch and I punched three marks in the bottom of the axe. There's the top. So I know which one is the bottom, although the top is wider than the bottom. I will do that with the same on the big axe. Drift here. I'm going to finish polishing and sharpening this axe up. I'm going to put a new handle on all three. Let's just see if this just pops out. This will have to clamp it. Holy folks, this was a job. It almost makes you wonder how an axe head could actually fly off. There. Whew. Okay. Now we're going to go to step two for all three heads. And that's uh, finish the polishing and sharpening. So, this is where we end up. On the Swedish axe. We've got it uh, cleaned up pretty good. I never sanded or buffed any of the labels. And uh, I don't think I removed much material off of this one. A little bit where it was mushroomed. But that was broken anyway, right? And I tried not to heat the uh, axe up at all with, uh, with the flap wheel. This one I didn't have to do anything to. I did this the other day and I also went to polishing. Uh, it's basically the same as knife polishing or whatever. We'll get into that. I'll show you that. Uh, but this little guy is the uh, hatchet. And uh, I even, I did a lot of grinding on this one, but it, it's hard to wreck something that doesn't have a great quality. I tried to take some of this crescent moon shape out of the uh, it had too much of a curve here. So now, with the bottom and the bottom, those have a very similar shape to them now. And that's before polishing and that's after polishing. So that's kind of cool. So there we go. Okay, guys. This is the uh, next step in my axe renovation. And... Uh, this is the cheap $10 hatchet, so I'm experimenting with it mostly. I, originally, I cleaned it up with, the, uh, with this flap disc, and uh, it came pretty good. I hammered the mushroom off the edge, and now we're going to go to step two, which is, uh, I guess these are flap discs too, but they're not as aggressive as something that you'd find on a grinder. And uh, we're going to just, uh, we're going to use my $18 die grinder, and we're going to do the next step and polish this a little further. So let's do this.
Okay guys, it's really coming. First I, uh, I polished it or, or went over it with the cup brush. That seemed to be the next step of abrasion. And then I put a, an 80 grit in my die grinder, and you can use a drill too with these. And I went over it again. And now I am trying my, what is this thing, my die grinder, and I'm going over it with a fine uh, scotch pad. So that's what I'm doing right now. So we'll just uh, get set back up. Safety glass is on all the time, by the way. Let's just do this slowly. So what the what it's all about is polishing is just making the scratches smaller. So now I am going to go to a rough disc, a 120, and we're going to work our way up to a thousand with the die grinder. See how that goes. And I put this over my shoulder like this so I can control it. Ooh, that scratches more than uh, than the scratch bright. Let's go to a let's go to a 180 or we'll try a 180. See, that's how you learn by playing, and then you take the cheapest the cheapest one. There we go. So what all this axe polishing is about is years ago, about 10 years ago, I was at one of those, you know, public events that you see. I don't know if it was a music concert or whatever, but they had a logging demonstration. And, uh, you know, these guys, you know, climbing up poles and stuff, and they're doing chopping competitions. And, and one of them had an axe that, you know, looked, looked like that or shard and shiny looked to stainless steel and I thought it was just too cool so when it came time to uh, take some of my old tools that I've been abusing for 35 years that's this is what I'm doing so this one I've now just done a 600 and we're gonna switch to a thousand and then we're gonna turn it over and do it all again Hey tubes, we have uh, polished this up with the die grinder and sandpaper up to a thousand grit. And now I'm going to take it to the next level and we're going to use this little uh, polishing wheel or polishing buffing wheel. And I have some black, which is coarser, some green compound, which is a little uh, less coarse, and then some red compound, which is fine. So we're going to try this. Uh, I've done it once before on that German axe head, so I'll just put a little on here and we'll get it going. Okay, here are the first two axes. Like I said, this is the uh, hatchet. This is the good West German axe. Uh, it's like a clearing axe. Cool. And now we are just at the point where we've got the, the Swedish axe uh, cleaned, um, polished up to a cup brush. Mm. And now I'm going to uh, use the die grinder to finish the polishing. First I'm going to sand it, just like the others. And then we'll do the paste polish. I'm going to 
continue on. Thanks for watching. Hi guys. Well, I've really enjoyed this job. Uh, I'm just in the process of doing the final polish on this axe head. I'm looking, here it is. I just used the black polish on this and now I'm stepping up to the green. Well, there we are. I think I'm done polishing. I can go forever. <laughs> so there they are. My hatchet, my clearing axe, and my regular axe. And the one I'm actually the happiest with is, is my clearing axe. These are all marks from stones and everything on there. And uh, You'd have to grind the axe away to get, to get that out. But I just thought it was cool. I haven't hurt the edges at all, and uh, that's it. So they're going to look cool with handles when I hang them, I guess that's what you call it, when I hang them. <laughs>